Hello, me fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed, today I'm gonna show you how we're gonna set up to run this K40 Razer onto a computer. So, what we need and what I'm gonna show it on is on a Windows 7 computer which uh, never had anything uh, related with the laser installed on it. Fresh Windows. So what we need to type in first, you need the internet or not. If you're in the garage and you don't have internet, you need to download it first and then with a USB drive or something. So you type in K40 Whisperer. But we'll uh, enter the Scorchworks website. And then from somewhere should be download. We we'll install the K40 Whisperer installer 0.64. You can go through the website, it's brilliant. Thank you very much. I can say to Scorchworks, it's brilliant. Well, at least for a free software that is very light. What are we gonna do? Uh, we will. Get the cable from the laser. Laser is turned on. You got a USB cable going from here. Somewhere around here. Should be it. Before that I was running, oh, it's still in the laptop. I was running it on XP on this laptop. I just had this computer laying around and I decided to set it up. Now what we're gonna do. I'll just take it then get it into the slot here. We got device software not installed successfully, which is almost okay because we're gonna install it now. It says here includes Windows driver installer. Can you see? Okay, let's press run. Yes, next, next. Here on this window, Windows 7 driver, next. Yep, install. Now, warning installing the driver will cause laser draw and color stop working. Before installing, make sure. Is connected to this computer and powered on. You saw it powered on. They want to install the driver. Yes. Uh, yes, install the driver. So let's give it a little bit of time. Driver installed successfully. Okay, close. Finish. Now I'm gonna press this button and you'll hear the laser moving or shoot here. Yep, and now when I do this with the dot here, we'll see the head of the laser moving, which means that the computer is set up to work with the laser. Now you need a file. I have only one file laying around, so let's go to downloads. Uh, we don't have Inkscape. Okay, so let's download Inkscape. I didn't know that we need Inkscape. Inkscape is a free software. Just type in Inkscape. Uh, somewhere had the current version. I'll download the last one, but you can download older one because this is uh, 1.2 version. And if you're looking on tutorials on YouTube, you'll see that I'm just clicking uh, download. So it will take some time. I'll talk while it's taking the time. So if you're using uh, if you're using uh, anything. And you, if you're using Inkscape and you don't have experience before, you might look on YouTube like you're doing now. So, when you're looking on YouTube, because laser cutting is not a new thing, 
it will have a uh, older tutorials for older version. Now I'm gonna click here, run, next, next, next. It will be older tutorials, and when you go to the 1.2 version and you you watching on 0 0.8 on the tutorial you get yourself in a situation where you don't know what you're doing keep in mind I just plug in my phone yeah uh, download from the internet yes So it's easier to install an older version and a newer version, you can have them both actually. An older version is lighter as well. I'm just gonna watch how the processor is doing. This is a very old processor, it's a 3.5 GHz dual core and before that on this laptop was a single core to give her so this is like an update from 2010 13 years ago it's not taking a lot of time it's gonna be under 10 minutes we're gonna be ready open it to make sure it's running fine there we go it's running fine uh, you always need to press initialize laser let's give it some time it's pretty big file so it will take uh, a few seconds to open it up Okay, so we needed some time to load up. Now, uh, should we do a test? Let's do a test. Let me just set up the, the laser. That's uh, nothing to do with the computer. I just set up the raster engraved to 150 millimeters a second, and uh, well, my laser is on 15%. So. running as well let's see if it's going to work it needs some time as you can see for the processing there we go it's running lovely now well, that's how in under 10 minutes which is actually like 20 because of waiting and stuff to set up your uh, computer to uh, do some work with the laser. I hope the video has been helpful to you. Like, subscribe, give me a comment, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.